Hi guys, that's the Rota Polska International New Artists and Medicator back here again. And in this video, like some of you have asked me how to file the nails, so I'm actually going to... There, there is lots of videos already on my channel. How to scoop a fresh set, you can check them out. Uh, how to do the rebalance, you can check it out. So in this video, we only concentrate on the proper filing and how to file the nails. And they have been already rebalanced, like so I have just applied the product on them and you can see they are all ugly and misshaped. So the question was how to hold the files and things like that. So when we're holding the file, I want to give it a support to, to the file. I can't hold it just like this because it's all wobbly. I need to support this file so it's doing nice and straight lines. And it is very important if we want to file the coffin shape. So I'm filing nice and straight. My finger is supporting the file nice and straight. And you can see it how nice and straight line I have got. Okay. From the other side, I'm not able to hold it the same way, so I'm using my thumb to keep the file in place, okay? Otherwise, if I wouldn't do it, the file will do whatever, like it would be too, too wobbly. If I want to go up the way, I do the same, so this is how I hold my file, and the thumb is giving a pressure, but also this finger is supporting the file so it's really nice and steady but there isn't a, a such a thing like um, keeping the file wrong or good i think each of us needs to find their own way but the main reason like the main the main thing you need to remember you need to kind of support the file so it's not wobbly another very important thing is when we file you can see i'm doing pretty long long movements of the file Okay, so I want to go long movements. I'm not doing a very short movements like this because this way I would produce lots of heat and then my client would feel very uncomfy and secondly, it would take me like three days to file away one nail. Uh, so the longer the motions, the better. Okay, and also you can see it how nicely the shape of the nail is changing here. I really like to file around the cuticle. So for filing around the cuticle, we would use this side rather than this side. Filing this way means I can easily cut it through the client's skin. But if I'm holding the fingers, protecting them, going up the top, look the curvature of the file, and then I'm not doing lots of pressure for those movements, like I'm more gentle. Swap my file, put the pressure, and start filing down the way. So filing also down the way means like I'm brushing away any dust particles which might be annoying there. Okay, we need to always also check the hairline. So I keep smoothing and coffin shape loves this movement as well, okay? I'm going extremely slow just to really explain it all. And there might be some places which I'm not necessarily touching with my file. And now I want to, actually I will brush that away, so you see which parts I'm filing. Okay, so now I just want to really smooth the nail. And now I can slow down, but still doing more of the longer motions, rather than just filing like in a one place. A good practice and exercise for you as well, guys, paint some maybe black line on top of the nail and try to don't touch it or try to off only file away those black line. And now I show you another one, just a little bit quicker as well. So my finger is supporting the file. Nice and straight V-shape. If I'm filing the end, again, my thumb gives a little bit support. Like when I was in school, they teach me to hold the file this way. But I think it's so uncomfy like for me. So each tech will hold the file different way. This is for me a best position where the file is lying on my middle finger. This finger is straight, so my hand is like this. Okay, then my file goes there. This is an empty side which I can use for filing. So very, very comfy way of filing because I can reach each places. Now also what, look what I'm doing. When I'm swapping my hand, I want to be quick bank with the file on something so I can easily turn it. So quite often I would be doing it on the desk as well, like uh, filing, swap it, like I, <laughs> it's hard to explain it even. Um, but it's funny because like I've got here also another girl which is 
um, working very quick and Agnieszka and see if there will be a time when we have not much conversations with the clients. All you can see is bank of the file. <laughs> because uh, so again, very long motions of the file file, like long, long motions. Okay, you don't want to look like I'm really working in and out, like really big, uh, big movement of the file. So this way you would file much quicker, much, much quicker, and uh, you wouldn't produce the heat, okay? What else I can tell you about the files? For the shape, well, because that's something what you asked me guys as well, like what kind of uh, grid I'm using. So I'm working with the file which is 100 by 180 grit and the side 100 is more for like unshaping, uh, removing the bulk of the product and then the 180 grit is more for the uh, natural nail work or like if I really want to just touch up some places very gently. Okay, so again I'm smoothing it out. And I suggest you've got the brush, because if you've got the brush, then you can easily brush it away, the needle, and you can check it what other places you need to file. Okay, one more. So nice and straight. This finger is supporting it. Very important. And don't, quite often people do it, gosh, which way? Filing like this and cutting off the corners. You don't want to cut these corners. Okay, so you can't file like this because there is empty space. Thank you. Uh, nice and straight, nice and straight. Uh, I hope you really guys find this video um, useful. I know for some of you who do the nails for a long time, it might be a pretty boring part. Um, but for someone who just starting, like I know how how long it was taking me to file the nails. I hate it. Like, I mean, my filing wasn't effective at all. I was filing for ages and nothing was happening. So really lots of pressure, lots of pressure, quick, fast, like, and long movements. And this way you will file quicker, better, and more effective. Okay, then again, look what my finger is doing. Lots of pressure on my file. So lots of pressure on my file. Get rid of all this huge bulk. And you can see there is a place which I even didn't touch with my file, okay? And this is absolutely fine. If there is some good place, you don't have to touch it. And um, again, if you've got any questions, you can leave them down in the comments below of this video. Because um, I sometimes take ages to answer on all of those questions, guys. Um, thank you so much for them coming in. Like, cameraman is helping me quite a lot. Uh, but I do always read them. And then eventually when I've got the time, I answer them as well. So this way you've got a chance to have your questions answered in the next video I'm producing as well. So you can just uh, drop them in there. I'll also show you like the shape on the side as well. So we've got a little apex, not over the top, like you don't want the huge, thick, ugly nails. And then I show you on this nail again. Uh, I'm just thinking what else was, uh, but yeah, the, ma the, main, the main problem for me when I was a beginner nail tech was like I was filing and the filing wasn't effective. It, it didn't take off too much product. I was taking ages. So really, once you understand that you have to do really strong movements and this area is so safe to file, like I'm so far away from the cuticles. I'm only filing this part that I can go really strong and really quick. You can also see my finger is supporting the client nail from underneath. So this is really important as well. Like you cannot just file like this or like some people holding clients nails like that. Look what I'm doing with her skin. Like it's, it's no use. You really need to, I just clean my hands. So you really need to protect the client's fault with this finger. This holds the nail. And then at the same time, we're holding a nail a little bit from un on the top as well and protecting this nail folds, okay? So constantly, the client's folds are in between like my fingers and they are constantly protected so I can file quicker and more effective. And also the nail is down the way. If it would go to the top, I could catch it and that would be a disaster. <laughs> like imagine all the nail ripped off. <laughs> okay, so the... Play oh. Gosh, I think my, my client got a goosebumps on the photo even of that. <laughs> <laughs>
oh my goodness, imagine. Ouch, that would be really bad. And uh, I'm working on Fiona, like I, I really like to work on Fiona, like she, lives, she always lets me do uh, whatever I want. She just kind of says I want something dark, I want something light. And today we are going to do a really nice and blingy set, but I will record it on the separate video. Because in this video, like normally I don't, I sh I don't show you the detailed filing. Um, I would just show you on a one or two nails and today I wanted to show you on uh, more nails just so you could see it. So I keep smoothing this nail, playing with it. And then once I have removed the biggest bulk, again, brush away the dust and do a little touch ups and then I can slow down and I can really play with the nail, okay? Then another, another tip, how to hold the buffer. So there are different types of buffers. First of all, if you're working with the new files, all the corners has to be off, okay? So all the corners are going off. And now, um, again, protecting my client's folds and I can go very fast, okay? So very fast, just more like to the middle. And I will file all the nails like this with this buffer. So very fast, more to the middle. Very fast, all more to the middle. Another thing I need to tell you guys, I will just mention it in a minute. So this is a movement, again, very quick. You are more effective this way. And then we can go, like the nails got the C curve, okay? They are not flat. So if you would be filing only like in one place like this, you would file away all the product from the top and you wouldn't touch the sides. So you really want to file in a shape of the nail. So you have to go like, like this in a, in a curve shape. This is really important. So you're going into the curve shape, yeah? With your buffer as well, and same with your file. So after I have done the biggest bulk, I can go and do this motion. Okay, so this is another type of the buffer. And buffer is quite nice because it takes so much like nail coverage. You can see how much nail I'm taking. And this nail was too straight. It needs to be more down. That's why I have cut it with my buffer. Okay. So we've got another part, but they're not finished yet. We also got those type of buffers and I really like those buffer. And I tell you the difference, this buffer is straight. So it's extremely difficult to reach it around the cuticle. You have to work very carefully with the corner of this buffer only to reach those uh, places. And I would leave these places always at the end so I can really slow down because I don't want to hurt my client. Why these buffers are quite nice because they are in the shape of the cuticle. So what I'm doing with those type of buffers, I'm just pushing back my cuticles, which is awesome for a product application, guys. Going to the side, to the top, and I have blended everything really nicely there. Okay, and then smooth all the nails. So this, these buffers, I would buff more like this direction. And then another nail, so I can push back my cuticles with this buffer, which is awesome. And smooth it all nail, push back those cuticles, smooth it all the nail. Okay, really um, fantastic way of buffing the nails. And the buffer is a hundred grit, so even if it's a um, cold buffer, it's making lots of scratches. So you can see the nail is really still having like lots of scratches, so the gel is going to uh, stick to that. Okay, and with this. So 100 grit buffer, very sharp one, just to make a nail nicer shape, but still have lots of scratches. Now, the gel file is easier, so you might find it that if you over buff the nails with the acrylics, then they might not be as nice. But look at the difference when we use the buffer compared to the nail where we didn't use the buffer. So I really like it. It's, it's very help, helpful for uh, shaping the nails. So... Yeah, I hope you have really guys enjoyed this video like uh, something a little bit different and um, a little bit more technical uh, but I wanted to show you how to hold the file and the difference in between the files so I'm sending you glittery hacks and bye for now